you, you found out that you were going to have to have a C-section. You mm. were planning on doing a natural birth. I was. Even though you hadn't read a single thing. No. I was more stressed about you giving birth than I you know. were. I'm like, have you read a book yet? No, I'll do it. Yeah, I know. Well, I you taught me through yours, so. Yes, I... <laughs> no, enough. Everyone's like, see, go do a class. I nah. know, no. I just, I've, see, like I said, I've winged my, my life. Everything, I just wing it. Yeah. And so I was going to wing childbirth. Well, and you did. I did. But you did find out you had a low-lying placenta. Yes. That didn't move up, so which is quite common. So yeah. you had to have a C-section. What was that day when you were told that you're going to have, was it a relief a little bit or? Do you know what? I was in two minds because I'd in fact had a girlfriend, a mutual friend of ours who was having a C-section and had had a few and she Chrissy, said, yeah, he's yeah, spoken Chrissy. about it on here. She's <laughs> like, give me a C-section. <laughs> Chrissy yeah. had said to me, do it, book it in, Loves it's amazing. It. Yeah. And the, the way she described the experience, I thought, you're right, why did I just get a C-section? Yeah. Then I had mum in my ear saying, you know, it's a rite of passage and I had to go through childbirth, so you should go through childbirth. And and like she clearly rules my life. And it yeah. was a guilt complex where I went, mm, yeah, I should do this. It's what women are supposed to do. So I won't elect to do a C-section, I'll do it. Um, and I was getting my head around it and, and I was prepared. And then when I found out, the funny thing was, it was part relief. It was going, yeah. yes, I yeah. have to have it. But it was also part, oh, hang on, I don't want to, I don't think I want to miss out on what everyone else is telling me, you know, about this experience of yeah. childbirth and the baby going through the canal and birth canal, not the Venetian canal, because that does sound a lot more fun. Um, but I, I, I was conflicted a bit, but yeah, I, right. I was really glad that the decision was taken well, was out of my taken, hands. Yeah. Mm. And then talk, can you talk me through that day, like when she was plucked from you? Yeah. What was that like? Well, it was really interesting. In fact, the days preceding that were interesting because it just hit me, and I don't know whether I said this to you at the time, but like a few weeks before she was born, I went, oh, hang on, um, life's about to change. Yeah. What? <laughs> I can't just go to a movie and... I'll never wake up in my bed again and be able to do whatever I want. Mm, you know that you can do it, you yeah. can stay in bed all day or I can, yeah, I'll go and meet up for a friend for coffee, come back, sleep on the couch in the afternoon, you know, my weekends. Yeah. It just sort of hit me like, it's you know, scary lightning. Because you don't feel that love yet. You don't feel what you're going to get for that taken away. Yet. I know, I saw, yeah, that was, and I, I just, everything, I'm very sentimental and mm. I started becoming sentimental about my last days as a single person yeah, without, yeah. you know, anyone dependent on me. So I, the night before she was born, um, I had, so my family came over, we got takeaway Chinese, we're all eating and having a great time and then they just started to go, like my nephews went, my brother left, my other brother left and then uh, my mum was, you know, packing up to go and I'm like, no, 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 you're not going, I can't be alone. Yeah. So I actually packed up my stuff and went and stayed with mum oh, for the night because it just didn't feel like... The, the, uh, to be confronted by oh, being yeah. alone in my house for the last time, it was too overwhelming. Totally. So I went back to the bed that I grew up in. Your single bed? <laughs> my single bed. I'm lying there nine months pregnant. Hilarious. Oh, how funny. <laughs> and when, when you, um, I think I saw you maybe two or three days after when Tristan yes. had been born, and you said that um, the experience, <laughs> it's just started playing the Bulldogs theme song yeah, when they was. pulled her out of you. <laughs> that was, would be so surreal. I know, it, well, it was. It was really strange because I thought I'd had it in my head how I wanted the birth to go. Yeah. And the, the well, I guess most women can relate to this, the emotion, and, and I'm guessing a lot of it is hormones, but walking into the hospital. Mm. And for a Caesar, I was going into day surgery. So I'm sitting in the waiting room with people who are getting their wisdom teeth out yeah. and they've got their arms in plaster. And I'm like, oh, this is weird. I'm having, I'm going in to have a baby extracted yeah. from my womb. So I, when the, the nurse, you know, pulled across the curtain and said, you know, Fifi, we're ready for you now. I like stood up in my you know, surgical gown, walking into a room knowing I'm about to have a so baby. Surreal. And I'm about to have major surgery. That was the yeah. other thing. So, um, but the team were amazing. My obstetrician was incredible. She was so good to me the whole pregnancy. And, yeah. and they were all so excited. So opposed to when I went in to get my appendix out and my tonsils out, yeah. where everyone's like, this is really boring. We're just going to take out this really, you know, rotten piece of organ from her stomach. Now we're taking out this beautiful baby. Yes. They were all pumped. And my, um, the anaesthetist had said to me, oh, what music do you like? And I said, pink. <laughs> so the next minute they found a pink CD 
And while the surgery started, Pink starts playing, and that I is so <laughs> not relaxing. I so know. what? You're a rock star. I know. God. I know. So, in an actually fat at one stage, I started to feel a bit nauseous, but he was busy with the iPod, oh, and I'm no. like, okay, I need her. I need help. <laughs> So it was quite Shit. surreal. And then um, and then when my obstetrician said, she's coming, the baby's coming, uh, I was, at that moment, you think, this is surreal. There is a yeah. human being that is about to come out of my stomach and this is, you know, the, the little baby I'm going to be in love with for the rest of my life. And then suddenly, from left field, the Western Bulldogs soundtrack starts because he'd asked me, you know, hours and hours earlier who I barracked for I thought it was just a passing question just to pass the time of day it's just going to be your memory forever I know like yes. every time you hear that song now <laughs> as well as your footy team winning I know you're going to think oh my god my birth my baby